welcome back to my channel. So today, let me just take this out. Just listening to a podcast. Um, I am going to try to get stuff ready for the baby. So nesting and whatnot. If that interests you, watch this video because this is my fourth baby. My oldest is almost four. So I could have four under four. And if I don't have four under four, it will be like days after that. So anyways, I'm just trying to get my stuff together. So when I'm filming this, I am like 34 and a half weeks, I think. Um, I just need to try to get some stuff done now because we get so busy in the next few weeks, like in a few days, I have a full blown spa day and I'm so looking forward to it. And then we have um, the boys birthday party, which I did early this time, just so that I won't have to reschedule it like I had to with Carson's first birthday. I had to reschedule it because Caden was born. <laughs> but so I'm just trying to get all this stuff done. Like I'm trying to figure out where to put bottles and I need to clean them and just like reorganize because this is the first time, um, this is the first baby with our like redone kitchen. So everything has moved. So we've been in this house almost five years and all my kitchen stuff has stayed the same until we completely redid our kitchen and like moved cabinets. So now stuff has moved and I need to figure out where to put baby stuff because I don't have an area anymore and I'm just trying to figure it out and I'm just trying to go through everything and minimize. I've been huge into trying to be more minimalistic. So I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff and I'm kind of just like going through all the baby stuff, cleaning it, getting rid of stuff. I actually bought new bottles because I wanted glass bottles this time. So I found some glass bottles and then I'll probably get rid of my plastic ones so that I only have a few bottles. You don't really need more than that. You know, like then they're always staying clean. So that's my goal today. It might take me more than a day to do it. I am not fully sure. So I'm just starting off by sanitizing bottles. It just seemed like the easiest thing to do. So I already washed most of the bottles that I'm using and then I just am sanitizing them with our Dr. Brown sanitizer. If you're pregnant right now with your first or are questioning if you should buy a sanitizer, truthfully, I would say no. You can sanitize bottles in um, a pot of boiling water. You can get like the little bags that you put in the microwave. Those are so much easier. These sanitizers have, they just take up so much room. But since I had it, I'm going to use it. And now that we have a bigger pantry on the side, I'm just gonna put it over there so I can actually use it more frequently. Okay, so in this container, I had Ben bring it up. This is this was all like bottles and pumping stuff. Um, so this time I got the LV Curve because I want to try to actually breastfeed, not only pump. So I got this and then these are all of my plastic bottles. And this is all I have for glass and I think this will be enough. And if it's not, then my plan is to buy more glass ones because they're just I want glass ones now, but I think what I'll do is give my mom a couple of these to have them at her house, but I need to wash all this stuff. Um, 
wash all my, I think I'm just gonna wash and sanitize pumping carts. And then I need to go and grab all my pumps and charge them. So I'll need to charge them. But I have these this time, so we'll see if these work. It's just a natural remedy to help, you know, increase milk supply and unclog your ducts. ducts. So, let me look at I think it's... Trying to, so this is just like what they look like. And you put them in your bra and you can heat them. Um, yeah, and there's just flaxseed in them. You can heat them. I think you might be able to put them, yep, you can put them in the freezer. So I'm excited to try these out. But yeah, so I have a lot of cleaning to do. Um, I will eventually get new, so all of this stuff is in individual. It looks like a mess, but it's because I've been going through it. Otherwise, everything is labeled in different bags. These are the milk storage bags that I have left from Cora. I will use them, but I am not sticking with this Lancino brand. I really liked the Lancino brand compared to the Medela ones, but I'm not kidding when I say I bet you it was 30 to 40% of all my milk bags that we had to unthaw when I finished pumping for Cora had holes in them and were leaking milk everywhere. So I don't really trust these anymore. So I'm gonna just try to do the Medela ones this time, but hopefully I won't have as many and I can actually like breastfeed for a while instead of just strictly pumping. washing all of the bottles even though I don't plan on using these plastic ones. I actually gave a couple to my mom just to have at her house um, just to be safe since I'm not using them at home. But I decided to wash them all anyways just to have them clean in case I decide to use them or whatever I decide to do with them honestly. Um, and then I am washing all my Medela parts even though I don't honestly use my Modella pump that much. So my main pump that I really like to use is my LV because it's just, it's so nice. It's easier to pump with that one. I do want to get the LV stride um, when the baby is born because that one goes into your bra as well, but it's like a regular pump. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should look it up because it's really cool and it's a lot more affordable than the regular LV. So I'm hoping to get that because otherwise the only other pump that I like to use is the Medela Freestyle because you don't have to be plugged into a wall. And when you're strictly pumping, not being plugged into a wall is a huge deal, especially when you have so many kids. So I'm hoping this time I can actually like breastfeed and not just pump because it would be a little bit easier than pumping, feeding baby, pumping, feeding baby.
just washing some of my LV parts and going through which ones I need to toss and which ones I can keep because a lot of the LV parts that I'm going through are actually brand new. Like I started using them the last month or so of um, pumping with Cora. So I need to just go through those and throw just a few and then I have replacement pieces on hand. It is super nice to have those replacement like duck bills I think is what they are called um, on hand just because when those go bad your just suction is not as good to be better without what's been holding us back now let's move closer to a new history find out what we can be together take my hand and we will conquer the world this is our final chance This time around, I actually bought a new like backpack for all of my pump stuff because I have the LV, the Medela Freestyle, and then I just have a Medela Manual pump. And I wanted a cute bag for it all. My other bag that I had for it was actually like, ripping and stuff. So I'm just going to go through that and clean all of those parts. And I'm going to let them soak for a little bit in, in hot water. Um, I do not sanitize my LV pump parts because what I have read, I've never tried to do it myself because I've read that the plastic for the LV, if you try to sanitize them, it can actually warp the plastic. So I just never wanted to take that chance. So I just make sure to like thoroughly clean them. And I'm just now having to plug in all of my pumps because I haven't used them for over a year and a half at this point so I want to make sure that they're all charged and ready to go. absolutely loves sitting on the countertop and helping me with things so that's what she's doing right now yes she is in her pajamas it's got to be like four o'clock now when I'm filming this and the reason she's in her pajamas is actually because all of the kids at like three really wanted to take a bath so I was like you know what sure like you can take a bath but at that point, I wasn't going to get them dressed into another outfit. I mean, it was 4 o'clock, so I just put their pajamas on them for the evening. This is the container with our bottles in it that is actually staying in our kitchen and what I have in it are my glass bottles, some um, throwaway breast pads, some milk bags, and then those um, flaxseed pads that you put on your breast. So that's all I had in there to just keep it in the kitchen, just like some bare essential items. 
It is now the next day and I am just cleaning the outsides of my pumps now before I put them together and then put them away. I feel us waiting, listen carefully, the stop is your way. actually try to link my pumps and everything that I use for breastfeeding down below just so you guys can get an idea of like what I use what I think works really well and whatnot Tell me what I need to know and stop this I am now just filling the diaper caddy in our room so the diaper caddy is actually a 31 brand and I really like it. It works super well. The diapers I use are Hello Bello. Um, I do have Hello Bello wipes as well. The only reason I have those in here is to just have some in there. Otherwise, I actually make my own wipes. But I just kind of wanted to get everything like prepared a little bit. I also have um, some Young Living Baby Oil. If you haven't used this, I would totally use it. And then I have the Boudoir's butt paste. Um, I don't actually really use that anymore. That is a really good butt paste, but I try to do all natural. I just threw that in there for now, but I normally just use tallow balm um, on like Cora's butt and it works so well. So if you're looking for a more natural, um, I guess you could say butt cream, but really you can use it for anything. I use it on my face and anywhere else is tallow balm I did actually just purchase the young living um, not butt cream it's called like something tush I'll link it down below I'm really excited for that as well because there's no like active ingredients or anything like the zinc oxide so I'm just trying to go as natural as possible with my children so I'm really excited to try that now this is just a basket that's going underneath my bassinet that has like sleep sacks, a couple sleepers, and um, some burp rags, and just put it underneath there. Those four moms um, bassinets, you can actually buy a little like basket thingy for it, but I just could not get myself to spend $40 on a little net basket. So I just found that one in the basement. Now I'm just in Cora and the baby's room trying to get like everything cleaned out. I had some stuff in the crib just to like get it out of the way. But now I'm finally like actually going through and I'm going through the changing table and getting rid of a bunch of stuff like random baby Q-tips that I have never used in my life that I'm finally just throwing and like actually just kind of deep cleaning through everything and getting rid of stuff that I don't need anymore. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am definitely feel a little bit more prepared for this next baby to come. I still need to make do my hospital bag. I've literally nothing packed for it, but hopefully I can get that done soon and I can finish up just the last little items before this last baby comes. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and I can't wait for you guys to watch the next one. Bye! I just feel so lucky oh.